What's good, y'all? This is Faces from Dope Wars. We are a NFT gaming ecosystem project, and you can check us out over at dopewars.gg. Click on the Read Me first, and there's a whole bunch of information and videos about the project. What you need to know for the purposes of this video is that we have some assets that you should be aware of, our dope NFTs and our ERC-20 token called Paper, our Hustlers and our gear, which are all on-chain gaming characters that we're using to build out a series of games. The first of which is the thing that we worked on for the Table Land Pilot Project, and that is called Paper, Rock, Scissors. So I'll show you our recap here and go through it. Paper, Rock, Scissors is a blockchain-based game of skill that we're going to deploy to the Optimism Network. Currently, the proof of concept exists on the Ethereum test network with verified code at the contract below. You can also check it out on GitHub at this link. Uh, that's also open source. You can see all the code that we use for the project, the contracts and the deployment stuff in hard hat. Um, it's all pretty complicated. So if you're just getting up to speed on Solidity, I had to learn all this stuff and I didn't have a really great example to look at. Check this out. It might help you if you're doing a Solidity project too. So what is Paper, Rock, Scissors? Um, it is a proof of concept game that you buy into a round of by sending ETH to the contract. Eventually, we're going to convert that ETH to our ERC20 token called Paper. We're working on that right now with a reliable Oracle, which has proven to be a little bit difficult. But right now, you can buy into a round sending ETH. You can select your move, and you wait for another player to join you. Um, once two players have committed their moves that are salted and stored to the gaming contract, an outcome can be revealed by an additional transaction. Uh, when both of the moves are revealed, if there's a winner, they take the pot less a 5% fee. That 5% fee goes back to our DAO. Our project is also a, an experiment in DAO ecosystem governance on-chain. And we use those fees to compensate contributors and run promotions and things of that nature. We're using Tableland to store the outcome of all these games so we can provide an on-chain accessible leaderboard that we can use um, for on upcoming promotions and giveaways. Right now, um, our current table is called PRS5394. That's going to change over time because we're working out some of the deployment stuff. And I think eventually we're going to have a proxy contract that deploys one table and then grants right access to other contracts that are upgraded. But that's a little bit complicated for me. I'm a Solidity beginner and I wanted to just work on the, the game state and the table land integration, make sure I really got that right um, with the time I had to devote to the pilot program. So originally when I was kicking this off, I wanted to structure our table and tables like I would do a normal web project, but that really didn't prove feasible for what we were doing, which is all on chain. Really the blocker there was the inability for table land to read data from a table land table inside of a smart contract. You can read the, the data from a table, obviously outside of a smart contract through the awesome SDK and the JavaScript stuff that the Tableland team has provided, but we needed all this stuff um, on chain. And so really we scaled this down with the final code and we're only using one table, which you can see illustrated here where, we're, where we are storing a game ID, created at timestamp, game entry fee, player one and two address and one and two moves, uh, clear text, and then the winner address. And with this, we'll be able to show what games are open to be played on our front end, and we'll be able to show a leaderboard of who's won the most and lost the most, what's the most interesting move or most chosen move, things of that nature. We'll go through the game flow really quickly. What's relevant for the purposes of this demonstration is that when player A starts a game, they do some things and then we insert that initial table and entry into the table. Player B joins and they do all their stuff and we update that same table and entry with parameters that are passed in from our front end. Um, once the moves have been revealed, some other stuff happens, and then eventually we update that table and entry to show that it's a finalized game. Now, we weren't able to complete the front end for this, but we are going to continue to build it out, working on the front end over the coming weeks and months, and you will be able to see it hosted at dopores.gg PRS. It's gonna be really hype when that comes out. We're working on like a live chat and some other things. And of course, we'll make an announcement when the game is up for testing. Uh, we'll do that on our Discord, which you, you can access through our website and on our Twitter. And we'll do a final announcement and promotion when the game is live on Optimism. Hope you guys stick with us to the end and check it out. Thanks for listening.